Hey guys, what's up? Billy Cardigan here with Effects and Pedals Arena Corner. And uh, we're here at John Brenda's in Philly uh, to see the Post Animal Band with Jake playing uh, red guitar. And he's going to show the cool pedals they use to make the rock music they made. So let's talk about some of the cool pedals they use. It looks like you got a whole big stack of them here. So it starts with a tuner pedal. I like this one because you can strike all your strings and see everything at once. And it's quick. And it also turns it off, so like if one of your bandmates is playing and they suck, you could just hit it and then turn them off so you don't have to hear their shitty music. I'd have to hit their pedal, but yeah, theoretically you're right. Do you ever do that? I've never done that. Well, that's just a, a, a tip for any bands out there if you just want to silence your partners. Behind the gear. But let's talk about this big fat red pedal. That's my Pog 2. It's an octave pedal. Um, sort of it's like up-down sound. Yeah, it's sort of like a synth engine, and I have presets on it that I switch between. So this pedal has many knobs, and it, and yeah. it, and it's red pedal. True. Behind the gear. So what else are we working with? We've got a green pedal that says blue on it, which could be very confusing. It says, it says blue ocean, but it's a green pedal. Try not to think too much about that. Behind the gear. First, you have this tuner, which we talked about with the other guy in your band. Oh yeah, and a lot of people in this band have long hair. Yeah. But so this is a tuner, and it um, he can use it to just make sure that the guitar is in tune. We don't need to talk about that. Sir. Well, going right uh, right after the tuner is a MXR Dyna Comp. It's a compressor. So that's a red pedal. Now, for those of you who don't know, a compressor is a pedal that doesn't do anything. So let's hear it with and without. So that's without. And that's with, and it sounds exactly the same as you can hear. So it's it's kind of a cool decoration that a lot of rock guys like to use. Behind the gear. So what else are we working with here? Uh, an a Roland Space Echo RE201 Cosm. So this is a very big pedal with different colors, green, black, and it does. What does it do? It's like a mixture between a an echo and a reverb pedal. Wow. And why does it have two uh, foot switches in case the one breaks? So this would be a very good feature if when you break one, there's just another one on there so that a backup switch on the pedal. Behind the gear. Hey guys, what's up? Billy Cardigan here with Javi from the Post Animal Band, another long-haired person from the band. Howdy. What's this one? It's the OCD. It was my friend Willie's. And I kind of just procured it. Um, so when your friend Willie comes to a show, is he proud? Wow, my pedal is on stage doing a cool rock set. I, he may be thinking about that, but I think most of the time he's just like, that's my guy. Behind the gear. Uh, this is an overdrive pedal, I don't know. Makes it a little bit more... So there you're getting into a Black Sabbath kind of territory. You know. Are you going to cover that tonight? No, but I was uh, I covered that the first show I ever played when I was 13. Well, I think they should cover Black Sabbath tonight because a lot of people love that band. Behind the gear. And then the next pedal there? That's a uh, digiverb. Digiverb. So I've heard of reverb. What is the difference between digiverb and reverb? Uh, good, I actually don't know the answer to that question. Dig, it's digital reverb, I suppose. So it's a green pedal that makes the digital reverb. So digital is means that it's electric and not... Um, there's analog and digital. So digital is when it's electric, and analog is when it's like old, like not electric. Behind the gear. Who are some of your biggest influences, music speaking? Oh man. Um, personally, I don't know. I listened to a lot of classic rock growing up. I kind of ate all that up. What about the the good old the Grateful Dead? 
Yep, that's something I've gotten more into like recently. Yeah, well, they've gotten better recently. Uh, John Mayer joined the band, and he's a lot better than Jerry ever was. A lot more better looking too, so they're a lot cooler now. Oh, that hurts, cause I love me some Jerry. But I do think John Mayer is great too. He's probably better looking than Jerry Garcia. You're right there. Well, Jerry Garcia was very overweight and had a beard, which is cool. It's like it shows that you're like a cool person if you have like long hair, but it's not like like you have long hair, so you're cool. And John Mayer doesn't have that, but he looks like someone like, oh, that's like a hot guy. He's behind the gear. Phaser is a very cool effect. I really like the way that sounded. And a lot of classic bands use that. Pink Floyd, for example. Do you ever, when you're playing with that phaser, you're playing one of your songs, but you're thinking, this sounds so cool, like a classic Floyd song. Do you ever just want to break into a Floyd song in the middle of the set and I, say, screw I, this music, let's go, f let's cover a cool classic rock? Behind the gear. Just to me, like John Mayer seems hot, but Jerry just d never did. And he played very boring, long music, not much rock sound to it, just very doot, doot, doot kind of notes. Uh -huh. But it was still cool. Behind the gear. Well, that's very loud. You could definitely use that if you wanted to frighten some ch children away. If they were bothering you around your pedal board and you just said, go away, you just turn that on, they would instantly think it's a ghost or something, especially with that ghostly reverb. And then, you know, you wouldn't have any problem with the children that mill about. Yeah, you're, you're definitely right about that. Behind the gear. So what else are you working with here? You got a little red toy. It's a fuzz face. Uh, Jimi Hendrix Band of Gypsies edition. Well, let's hear some of those Hendrix tones. Man. You know, that sounded very cool. It did still sound a lot more like Black Sabbath than Jimi Hendrix. So. I agree. I think you might want to, That's if you're trying to sound like Jimmy, that didn't really sound like him, but it did sound like Black Sabbath. Behind the gear. Where's your favorite city to rock out? Um, Chicago. Chicago. But that's the city you're from. Not from, but based, yes. That's the city where he's from. And that's where, where are you from? I'm from, <laughs> I'm from all over, man. I'm from the spoils of life. I'm from New York. Upstate and Illinois. Very cool. <laughs> so he's from some very boring areas, and oh. he, and now he's in a band. Behind the gear. Effects and pedals. Arena corner. This has been a Shy Boys production.